So here it is the next morning. How, do, how does a rock but Yeah, just a little flexible. And I mean, it feels like material. It doesn't weigh nothing. Looks good. So I've got to fix this corner. That's left. Fix that curve. Clean this up. I like it. Got little ripplies. Those will sand right out. Probably after we do the next coat, though, I'm thinking. Build it up and then sand it down. I don't want to go too crazy sanding it now. Let's see what the sanding block does to it and go from there. Get rid of the high spots and sand it again, just like anything else. Um, that's my favorite word. Um, oh, I had this little heater on it for a while. Just a couple hours. Works really good. I mean, this little friggin' heater will heat up the whole garage. It's amazing. Here's the other one. Disconnected and not covered yet. Uh, probably be next. But I'd like to get one done and go from there. See how it comes out so I know what to do. I've got a little tear there. Not a big deal. But look at the ripples. That is awesome. Look at the ripples in the front. I knew just what that wire was going to do. I'm doing that front fender. I think I did it twice, two or three times. And I'm like, why the hell doesn't it hold the curve? So I made the curve. So I'm going to try some of these sponge sanding pads. I think these are 80 or 120 or something, just to see how they work. Um, hopefully it'll hold the shape pretty good. Because if you just use a sanding block, it's going to scuff off and sand off the high spots right down to the wire. We don't want to do that. All right, I'm having fun. I'm going to scuff one of these and see what it looks like. So I did like my dad said and used a, uh, well, I used the oxide flapper to grind off the edges. And what it does is you get it right down to the middle edge and the remaining cloth just peels off. And I mean, I cleaned up this whole edge. So when we do that piece, I left a little bit here. Don't know if I'm going to leave it there or not. We'll see. But uh, this whole thing weighs about two and a half, three pounds. But all the edges are cleaned up. I got a few spots where the resin just didn't pull up, but not a big deal. The next time you do it, it's going to be fine. See how the resin soaked in right near the wires? That's pretty awesome because it grabs it good. I know they're all rusty and probably not a good idea. I should have cleaned it up before I did this, but not like it ain't going to be bedlinered inside anyway. <clears throat> oh, let's drop it while we do. That looks awesome. It's going to look 100% better when it's red. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the cap right now. Maybe I'll get started on the other one or mess with the rudder or something like that. But It's amazing. It's amazing how light it is. This could probably really work on a real airplane. Although resin would be kind of heavy. You'd have to have a controlled amount sprayed, you know. But I like it. I think it looks cool, considering it's made from scratch. I um, think I'll go set it on and take some pictures for you. All right, be right back.
rudder. I didn't do the rudder today. Instead I did the elevator. Alright, that comes up to a point. Got to grind that off. And I did the rear wing it connects to. One layer of cloth. I'm using vice grips as weights to hold it tight or taut on the edge. But when she hardens up, I can uh, add another layer if I have to of resin. Um, I think I'm just going to bed line the back. It's not going to be too bad. It stinks in here. i got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm so high right now. No, no, I'm just kidding. But I'm going to be if I stand here too long. All right, there's the elevator and the tail fin or tail, what do you call it? The tail wing? Yeah, tail wing. I had this holding it down, but I figured out my little weight holds it better because I was getting a little too much of a wrinkle right here. So if I pulled it and put the weight on it, it pulls it tight. And I've got a piece of plastic under there. And there's also something underneath holding it up so it doesn't stick to the plastic. But tomorrow will tell. And no matter what it looks like, it's going to look good. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right, well, I did the elevator and the tail, uh, tail fin the other day, not the, not the rudder. This is the rudder. I'm going to do one side. It's got a plastic bag underneath all of this, so it doesn't stick to what it's on, which is just a plastic box. Um, I'm going to do one side, do the other, and I'm going to do that crazy curve on the end of the wing that I couldn't finish because it was just too much of a curve. I have to do this panel and this panel right here. None of this, so this can get trimmed off. Um, the elevator is right there outside. Let's see if I can zoom in. I never use zoom. There it is. I just painted it red. Wow, it's wicked hard to hold steady. Woo! Just painted it red, first time. I'm going to do the bottom and bed liner. But first thing I'm going to do is resin this and resin that. I got all these vice grips hanging around the edges. Clamps, see clamps, and a hammer. Put some serious weight on this to pull this crazy curve. But I'm all ready to go. I've been messing with it for like an hour. I'm gonna set you up and do a time lapse of me resin coating this one and this one, if it'll see you from over there. I'm gonna put you on that vice and let you watch me. All right, back in a minute.
Well, it might be a little hard to see in the sunlight. There you go. One layer of soaked in resin. We're just going to flip it, do the other side, and that one's dry. Okay, and then the other side here is the end of the wing, that really hard curve to hit. Just had to do these two panels, and it's soaked through nice. I got one little raised area right there, but you know what? You're not going to see it. And if you do, who cares? There's one little speck of dirt right there, you little bastard. And it's cut off the edge. It, it's not, I didn't tie it down to the edge. I just, you know, resined it to the edge so that way I can grind it off. And then later I come back and just do a touch up on the edge, just like I did just here, actually. Just to seal up what I ground off. That way when we paint it, it's painting fiberglass and not metal. See the brush lines? We'll clean it a little. I'll get the high spots. Clean the edge. Carefully, carefully grind this, uh, non-saturated tablecloth off. I think this is Lycra. I'm not sure what it is. My dad had a whole my dad had a whole bunch of it and so I got these weird little clamps. They are called new vice. That's pretty cool. It's like a adjustable vice grip. Got a whole bunch of those just weighing it down. Use the hammer over here to pull it tight because that was one hell of a curve to pull and I'm like what is gonna hold this? So you just add more weight. I pinch this corner put some lightweight over here and I couldn't get it to stretch end to end so I clamped that end and I put this like three pound four pound hammer on the other side you could see the resin soaking through on the other side but not a big deal it's really good with this material all right I gotta get the hell out of here because this stuff stinks and I'm gonna be high as a kite if I don't get out of here that should harden up nice I'll sand stuff like that off I'm painting the thing, this giant mosquito with long legs goes, swoop, sticks right to it. You little bastard. All right, I'm going in. I'm gonna go check out my wing. I might have to go with uh, a matte clear coat over this. Maybe, maybe not. Look at how tattered it looks. That's pretty awesome. See the ripples in the picture? That was the whole idea. I don't have any more red paint. This is it. <laughs> I gotta get some more. Look at the ripples. That's awesome. It's just what I was looking for. No perfection. That's going to look awesome over the engine. All right, I'm going in. Have a good night. Well, it's been a day later. I took the weights off and I flipped over the rudder. And it looks good. It's actually a little sticky because this was sealed off. It didn't get much for air. But the edge is as hard as a rock. It'll grind off. Looks good. Just got to do this side. Over here. The end cap. The, uh, the main wing. The one that I did. The two curves that I could not hit with the material. Looks good. Nice and hard too. Funny it feels like cloth. Because it is cloth. It's all shiny. We're gonna have to dull that down, huh? So I'm gonna grind this off, grind this off, and grind that off, and kind of stay away over here because right here is where the two pieces meet. I'm put a next time I do the resin, I'll put a layer over this because I have to grind it to get this piece of cloth off. I tried not to soak it too much, but I wanted to soak it to hit the wire, so I'm gonna have some of it stick, but it'll grind off and it'll sand down. Nice stuff to sand too. All right, that's what I'm doing right now. Look at that little speck of dirt that got in there. Can't feel it, just a little bit. Nice and hard. Actually, just a little bit flexible, like a kite. It should be. All right, I'm gonna grind this off. Have fun. Well, it's hard enough to grind, but it's not hard enough to stand. All the sand, all it does is uh, clog up the um, sandpaper. So, I'm gonna let it dry another day. Do the other side. Um, maybe do the other side. I don't think so. 
I decided to bring the tank in. Now, really, really bright, really, really shiny. I want to beat it up. So I dulled it down with, uh, you know, the sanding blocks. Actually, this was black. I turned it red. Um, I actually like what it's doing. It's scarring on corners and stuff. Maybe I'll do the red again, but I'd like to put like a, a matte clear over it. It's because it's too bright. It's supposed to be a beat up airplane, not a brand new airplane. But whatever happens, happens. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I put the panel on out here. Can I go out here? I set this one in place so you can see it. Hold on, we're getting there. Look at that. It's awesome. Again, needs another layer of resin. I haven't done a second layer, just the first. Just get the basic shape down. A little bed liner the inside and uh, do another layer of resin on this one and sand it down good and primer and red and scuff it and it's a lot of work. <clears throat> it's Echnologies. But it looks good. I think it looks good and that's all that matters. Um, I'm not going too fast here. Yeah? I love the points. That's pretty cool. Points there, points up in the middle. And the curve. Let's see the curve again. There you go. It's pretty good. Of course, it's got to go up a little bit, but not a big deal. Oh, the rudder. I was scuffing the rudder down too. I wanted to um, darken it. Get rid of the shiny. I know it looks bright red to you, but it's not shiny anymore. Wondering how I can connect this to the throttle without it affecting the throttle. Maybe a spring. A spring that holds it up and this thing pulls it down. Or maybe it could be the throttle spring. Who knows? But uh, it's not too big. Just about right. It's going to be crazy when it's done. Also beat this one up. Here, yeah, there, and everywhere. Anywhere there's a high spot, it's been uh, cleaned up. Not excessively, though. But I think she's going to go apple red again, or cherry red, or whatever they call it. See the gap? Quarter of an inch? Quarter of an inch. You have no idea how hard that was to do. It's been like a week since I've, since I've been able to do anything. But um, if you remember, I had scuffed this down. I just resprayed the cherry red. I like it. It's all rough. And I did the elevator and bed liner black on the bottom. Since we're not gonna we're not gonna uh, fiberglass this side of it, just leave it black with bed liner. I got both trikes outside, sitting here. Um, we're expecting a visitor. This is Jason. He's on his way. Jason from. Jason's most excellent van adventures. He, um, I'm trying to think of where he came from. He told me already. I cannot remember. Arizona. He's coming down from Arizona. He's been driving his little Chevy Astro van, and it's really cool. It's all done up like military. And uh, he's been going around helping the homeless, buying rooms, and uh, he accepts PayPal. And, you know, he goes to a place and he'll buy a couple rooms. It's pretty cool. Just driving around helping the homeless. <sighs> but he's going to come down. Probably do a few things, maybe help him with his van if he needs anything. Uh, I really got to get to doing the other side of the rudder. Here it is. Got to do the other side of the rudder because this thing's way behind. And I got to do that other wing because this thing's way, way, way behind. I only got one wing covered out there. And I have not made the other aileron either. Here's the other one. Maybe I could do that, but I don't want to weld or sandblast or anything like that while I just painted, so... I mean, not that it isn't dry yet, but... It's getting there. Alright, I'm having fun. Be ready to meet Jason. He'll be here in a while. He's probably going to spend the night. I'll throw him an extension cord out there. That one. <laughs> and uh, give him some power for the night. He has gone just about everywhere. Um, today he went to Plymouth Rock. I know that was one of them. He was going through Boston and working his way up but 
Well, I got these speakers for 10 bucks, brand new in the box. Those are going to go with a little special project I have in mind. I've got this little MP3 decoder, and this one's just a little better. It's got AM, FM, MP3 decoder with SD and USB and Bluetooth. This one has Bluetooth. This one literally just decodes MP3s. But it's got volume and all that crap. Um, probably one of the things I'm going to put on the trike is a radio of some sorts. Of course, with those speakers, but rudder looks good. The other side is undone. I haven't touched it. I gotta do this side. <sighs> this is how hot it is out here. Look at my can. Sweating like crazy. Alright, having fun. All right, it appears that a, a mailbox, what do you call it, one of those mail, mail bins, some white plastic, not for private use, United States Mail Service boxes, right? And a bungee cord, a perfect to stretch the material around. If I get a little wrinkle, you just pull it. I might add some weight around the edge, but a little dirt ain't gonna hurt nobody. It's gonna be red anyway. Pull this edge tight, looks good. I'm going to add some weights around the inside so I don't get resin all over my vice grips, but I'm going to put some C-clamps and uh, vice grips and whatever I can find over this. I was looking at the pictures of the plans for the real airplane, and my tail fin looks better than some of the ones that some people have made. They make it round. It's not round. It's like a circle here and then one third of that circle. You know what I mean? And then this is just one full curve all the way out to the bottom with like a... I don't know, good angle. And it, it did have a flat spot up here and like an egg shake up here. But this edge is round and you got, I think it was a third from here to here to here. And I made that internal wire by accident when I looked at the original plans for the plane on, uh, what the hell is that website? Wiki, Wikipedia. And uh, mine's closer than some of the replicas I've seen out there and it's not even real. It's not gonna fly. It'll just play the part. All right, have fun. So I'm out here painting this thing, and last night we had a visitor. It's Jason from Jason's Most Excellent Van Adventures. And he parked in my driveway and spent the night bread right in the grass, because he don't have grass in where? Uh, Walmart, Arizona. Besides Arizona. <laughs> I'll, get in, I'll get in the shot if I can flip the screen here. There we go. All right. Spent the night, met him online, what, months ago, right? And yeah, I said, it was, yeah, it was a few months ago on a Astrovan forum. Yeah, and I said, if he ever makes it here, just come by and we'll spend the night, you know? 
Um, him and his friend Chris. All right, is he related? Yeah, he's my cousin. <laughs> he's his cousin, okay. <laughs> my, he's my cousin. <laughs> you know that movie. Yeah. Um, spent the night on the lawn. You see him on the lawn? Uh, Jason's driving around the country just helping the homeless and, uh, you know, bringing them food and not letting them buy crazy things like cigarettes yeah. or, you know, give, keeping them fed. Yeah, so basically I'm a paramedic. I've been an EMS for 13 years. I quit my job and decided for six months I'm going to live as a homeless man. Uh, traveling the country and the whole purpose is to see how far I go off other people's kindness and my travels have all been done uh, from panhandling and just the generosity of others and so with the money that I make I'm, I'm able to pay for gas food and then help people out along the way I've purchased tents for homeless gas cans for homeless folks uh, food water shelter whatever you can think of yeah. I've, I've been able to do in the last two months and so in two months I've rolled over 8,000 miles just on the generosity of others on a what year, Astro? It's a 1995 uh, GMC Safari, actually. Oh, we got to pull them over here and do a picture, too. Your Astro yeah. and Mike has for the forums, you know, and we'll, <laughs> we'll get the news around about what you're doing, and you know? Yeah, yeah, just uh, go on Facebook, search my, my page, Jason's Most Excellent Van Adventures. I do posts and updates every day, and you'll be able to see the uh, trip from start to finish right on there. I'll drop a link, too, on the bottom so they can follow you, too. Awesome, thank you. That's it. They're taking off. I'm going to... Uh, Play with my little airplane here. I bought that at the fleet for three bucks. Perfect. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll be back later on. How do you shut this thing off? I forgot already. Jason and Chris are gone. I decided to uh, grind the edge off this thing, sand it a little bit by hand. And I figured I'd do a base coat of silver first to uh, make sure the sunlight doesn't go through it, you know, because it's going to be white. White's going to go right through it. A little bit is okay, but look how it shows the material still. And then it doesn't, then it does. Literally looks like it's wrapped in fabric. And when it's flat white, it's going to be pretty bright. I started to paint it red. I literally dusted it in red and went, wait a minute, this isn't red. It's supposed to be white. Whoops. I gotta paint that whole thing white. And the cross is black, of course. The thing I don't like is there's no propeller on this one. It was yellow and blue. It was ugly. I got pictures of it. Look at the ailerons connected at the top. Oh, these things, a landing gear. Well, it wasn't really landing gear. It was actually a... Uh, an axe handle. That's what they used. That's wrong. What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't remember any kind of exhaust port, but okay. That's right, because that's how you fill the hole, fill the tire in the hole. They put these white discs on to make the airflow better. These should have been brown, because they were wood. I believe it was spruce. It might have been spruce. Those should have been like a brown. Actually, the all three of these wings, the underside should have been light blue if this was 4317. Um, the plane he died in. I think I said that before. The underside of the wings were light blue. So when you were at, you know, 10,000 feet, of which they didn't go very high, you really couldn't see the airplane. They painted the underbelly a light, light blue. But for three bucks, this thing's pretty cool. Someone pointed it out to me, and I was like, wow, that is neat. It's just the wrong color. It's so picky. My elevator. Elevators just dusty. It's all dry now But it is apple red No crosses or nothing go on this. It's done tail fin gets white and across and that's it. Oh I did paint the bracket for it, too. This is the bracket for the rudder um, It was in a, a bed liner black so what I did is I put silver down first last night and today I painted it the red over the silver so the, the black will literally absorb all the red. 
Little nicks and scars, not a big deal. But I've had this like, I think I got this at the end of last summer. And it's been sitting up there doing nothing. And I decided to uh, paint it the same color as the bike. That's looking good. We're going to the flea market. It's Sunday. Um, you buy one day, you get the second day free. Um, I've got a couple things. What the hell did I buy? Actually, I don't think I bought anything yesterday, which is pretty amazing. I am wasted. <laughs> I have made this thing five times. Finally, I went, you know what? We're going to go horizontal with the bottom. I don't care what angle it's at when it's on the trike. That's how they made the plane. When the tail end was up in the air, it was level. So, whatever. So, I got that side done. And I am working on this side. And I'll tell you, I may have done this side five times. But to duplicate it on this side and get it in the exact same spot to where the point is right on the edge and... Oh my god, what a mess. It's getting there. It's getting there. Just what a struggle. And I got my tablet down here with a picture of it. I've been looking at it. Where the hell's the picture? Not my Facebook. Gallery right there. So I'm looking at that picture going, that's what we got to make. 425.17. Whether I get that done, I don't know. But I'd like to at least get the white outline for the cross. Uh, both sides done and cover up all the red and do the black later. I painted the fin The tail fin the rudder Actually did it silver so it wouldn't shine through and then two coats of silver And then I did uh, two coats of white and I just got to scuff it up Get some little cucker that got on it and paint it white again and let it harden look at this edge It's perfect. You can't even tell what side I did first, but there's little bibbits here and there nothing crazy and then I get to make an X for this side. Oh boy. A trike sits outside. Oh, you might like to see this. I sanded and sanded and sanded until my fingers hurt. And then I painted this apple red or cherry red. It's not done, but it's looking a lot better. I sat this in place because it's been dry for about two days now. The sun is gone and it's absolutely cold out here. It's like it's going to snow. I swear to God, it better not snow. So I'm going to cover this thing up and... Uh, I got work tomorrow, but uh, I'm going to chop this windshield too eventually, when I get there, the mess. Uh, I've completely killed this box, it used to be clear, then it was red, then it was black, now it's white, <laughs> but the rudder looks good, of course I'm in the light for it, I get to make an X on that, just like the picture, I had to shut my fan off, it was so freaking cold in here, but that is going to be white, and the X in the center is going to be black, actually I better look at it, right, yeah, White and black, see it? A 425.17 Fokker DR1, the one he was killed in. I don't care about what's his face thinking he owns the Iron Croc. Guy's an idiot. <laughs> it's an X, man. You know what? So many people get hurt from things these days. You hurt their feelings. Or, You're hurting my feelings over the stupidest things. But I'm going to get cracking on this. I might even turn on my heater in here because it's freaking cold. All right, I'm having fun. All right, so I'm on a roll. We got two coats of white on this thing. For, well, actually, first a dusting coat. Uh, let it sit for like 20 minutes. And then a nice, thick, heavy coat. 
and then I just did another one. I decided, you know, if you're going to buy the good scotch tape, we're going to use it all. Um, it's worth it not to get it on the red, you know. But I can already tell looking at it, it's going to look like a sticker. <laughs> it look like you put a sticker on it. I should have just bought stickers, right? Nah. Oh, we got a little alligating going on there. Ooh. Look at that. I can't. I don't know if you white you can see. Let's see. Paint over paint. Crackle. That's okay. Might give it a little effect, you know. But I'm over here. I'm looking at this thing going. Well, I could at least tape it off. Make the black X on this thing. But how big do I make it? It's actually huge on this on the tail fin, the tail rudder. Um. What the hell? Let's do it. Look at the rippled effect in the light. That is awesome. You see the framework inside? That's awesome. Alright, still having fun with the white. Figured out how to do it. All right, first off, the tape is, uh, I forget what size the tape is. Let's see. The tape is, I think it was inch and a quarter. Yeah, it's like inch and three-eighths, all right? I noticed in the picture there's a big gap here where the hinge starts. So I put a piece, inch and three-eighths, and then I put another row and another row, and I got rid of the first row. Then I did the same thing. I found the center, and I made it two rows. And I put a piece across the middle just in case there's a little slit there. So now I have the negative of what I want to paint. Now I just outline it with tape, peel this center X off, and uh, go from there. That looks really weird. It says Scotch Blue. I have used so much Scotch Blue today, it ain't funny. I have both sides off. It ended up being four and an eighth from here to here, all the way around. And... It's a little centered towards the back, but I'm looking at the pictures. They're not very accurate anyway, so looks pretty good. So I'm thinking tomorrow I'll finish this one up. Um, Got to tape off the complete opposite of this and uh, paint it black. Because it's getting late. It's pitch black. I don't even know what time it is. I was out here last night till 1 o'clock in the morning with Jason and his cousin, uh, Chris talking about this that the other and what he does and got all the tape on the floor <laughs> and I got my little exacto knife I think I just dropped it oh it's under here my little exacto knife and my ruler and my tape measure and but that is going to be awesome but uh, I just painted this again I'm going in have a good night because otherwise the fumes are going to kill me see you in the morning well, at least after work. Is the cross on the rudder all taped up? I scuffed it a little bit. Is the other side a little bit scuffed? Ooh, I gotta fix that. Whoops. It's going satin black. I'm gonna just rub down the tape and uh, make sure there's no white sticking out. And we'll do that in a few minutes. Is the cross on the rudder all taped up? I scuffed it a little bit. Is the other side a little bit scuffed? Ooh, I gotta fix that. Whoops. It's going satin black. I'm gonna just rub down the tape and uh, make sure there's no white sticking out. And we'll do that in a few minutes. So here's my fake gas tank. See all the ripples in the uh, white paint and how it's not very, you know, sharp edges? Oh, excuse me. Um, when you don't sand it and you paint one over the other, you get this like alligator effect. Where it all cracks because it's trying to stick but it can't so it fights it to the end. 
So, you wet sand it. And yeah, you can repaint it. But what if you don't? What if you just put satin clear over it when you're done? I'm gonna sand it here, but see the cracks? Looks a little distressed, don't it? <laughs> That's the whole idea. How cool is that? And this is with, uh, I've been wet sanding it. I'm gonna dull it all down and put a satin clear over the whole thing after I paint the X in the middle black. The other side's gonna do it a little bit more because it's got these cracks all the way around almost perfectly. This one doesn't have it as much, but I think it still looks good. It's gonna be awesome when it's black. So, having fun. Holy crap, that is incredible. I know the lighting isn't too good. Let me see what my display looks like. There it is. Oh, I'm sick as a dog. <clears throat> Did this yesterday, I just felt like peeling it off today. I don't sound myself, I am sick as a dog. <clears throat> that is gonna be awesome. Just gotta wet sand it and what do they call it? Clear coat it. <laughs> it's got a couple edges that, you know, a little black peek through, but they used to paint this stuff on, man. They didn't have uh, scotch tape, scotch blue tape to get crisp lines, you know what I mean? They used to paint the stuff right over the uh, material. Everything on the plane, including the crosses, so that looks damn good. But uh, like I said, I'm sick as a dog. I'm, I'm going in. Have a good night. No, we got tape for black and we got tape for white. <laughs> we have distressed military vehicle. Look at the cracks in the paint, it's awesome. Can't wait to wet sand it. Look at this side. I even wore through in a few parts on purpose, like here, here. That's awesome. Oh, I got the paintbrush on it. Oh well. That is awesome. It's going to look so old and it's brand new.